What's up guys? Hope everybody's having a great day. I wanted to get on here and actually do a quick video on a couple things I picked up from Ulta about an hour ago. I went to Ulta looking for the Tarte Shape Tape, which I can never find in my color because the world is against me. For some reason, I'm just having a hard time buying it online with the $5 shipping. Do you guys have that problem where you're gonna spend like a lot of money on makeup, but then when you see that shipping price, you're like, Nope. I do that all the time and I need to stop. So anyway, I was looking through Ulta, looking for the Tarte Shape Tape, saw that they didn't have my color. I was about to walk out and I walked past what looked like the like Essence makeup little section that's usually on like the end of the aisles, you know, but it wasn't Essence. It was Catrice and I had never heard of Catrice, which is strange because I'm like all over YouTube and I'm pretty on top of like the makeup stuff as I'm sure you are too. And I had never heard of it. So I wanted to go ahead and pick up a couple of things to see if I liked it. There are a couple of things in the Essence brand I like, so I thought, hey, I'll give it a shot. They're cheap. And I went ahead and picked these things up. So I'm just gonna run through them. All I did was purchase eye stuff this time to see how I thought about that. And then I thought I'd go back if I liked it and pick up some of the lip stuff, some of the highlighting products, so yeah. So let's go ahead and get right into this. I did try these things on today so I could give like an initial review and tell you guys what I thought without having to take time and do it on camera. So the first thing I actually did like was the liquid metal eyeshadow. It looks like this. I picked up this nice golden color. The one thing that I don't like is I know it's meant to be pretty, but like this shape is not really practical. I had a hard time, like I'll show you, getting my brush in there. So the first thing, obviously you're gonna wanna use this wet so the pigment shows up and so it's not like super powdery. I mean, you could see there's like powder on the outside here and it is powdery if you don't wet your brush. So I just use just a flat brush. This is like some art store brush and it kind of does annoy me that you have to like get on there with that like little bumpy thing. I know it looks pretty, but I would rather prefer practicality, but whatever, I guess I can get around it. It's called We Are The Champagnes and it was $4.99. So not bad at all. And this is what I have on my eyes. So hopefully you guys can see that there. Now the pigment was there, but I feel like it's gonna fade through the day. So I'll have to give an update on that, but I'm looking down here at my mirror. I thought it might show up a little more pigmented because when I like put it on my finger like this, like you can see, that's a lot. But for some reason when I sprayed my brush with Fix Plus, it just, I don't know, it, it, it doesn't have the color payoff, I guess, that I expected. But with that said, for a $4.99 eyeshadow, this stuff is pretty good and I do like it and I think I'll use it again. What I really wanted to pick this up for was highlighter. I think this would be an awesome highlighter. Let me just go ahead and grab a brush here. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I mean, I clearly have highlighter on right now, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty. That That is definitely pretty. And I mean, that's without the Fix Plus. So, I mean, I would definitely suggest this for a highlight color and like I said it's on my eyes I do like the color so yeah for a $4.99 eyeshadow I definitely think this is worth the money and there are a lot of other colors that's just like my go-to color there was like almost fell there was like a uh, darker like brown color I saw a blue I think I saw something like a burgundy or purple something like that so yeah that's definitely worth it I would probably go back and get a couple of those the other product that I was impressed with was the eyebrow set. It's what I have in my eyebrows right now and I just like this color that it gives. I know I have blonde hair but I really like a dark eyebrow. I think it looks good and I'm just, that's just what I prefer. So that's what I used here and then I went ahead and went in with this just a little bit in like the inner corners so it could look a little more natural. This seems like it's gonna have good staying powder. It really is pigmented, it went on really well. I mean, I barely touched that, so you, this guy right here. So you could see that the pigment is there. It's nice that it has a little mirror right here. And then it sounds like there's a little like tweezers and a little spoolie and like angled brush in the end, which is really nice for on the go if you wanna like throw this in your purse. And I really do like how compact it is. So this is 100% absolutely would repurchase and it was $5.99. Totally worth it for a 
eyebrow set. The third thing I picked up is the Kohl eyeliner in this like bronzy brown color. Looks like this. Put it on the back of my hand. Looks like that. It's not crazy, crazy pigmented, but I'm not sure if it's meant to be because it is more of that like bronzy color. And this is what I have in my lower waterline right now. And I even put it a little bit like down here just to define. And it kind of looks like from like the, I don't know, I did my makeup probably an hour ago. From the hour ago that I put this on to now, it looks like it is fading a little bit, but I will say it is a very pretty color. Sorry if this like grosses you out. But yeah, so you can see it is just a pretty brown bronzy color. I like how it makes my eyes pop. So this was I think $2.99. Yeah, this was $2.99, so like for a $2.99 pencil, you can probably find better out there and something that would last a little bit longer, but we'll see. I'll see how it lasts all day, and maybe I'll have another review on it later, but I mean, it was $2.99. You can buy a pack of gum or some mints for $2.99, and I do like the color. I like how it looks right now. So you decide based off of the little swatch here. You can see how it looks on my eyes, and yeah, that is the third thing I picked up. And the fourth and final that I will definitely not repurchase is this Catrice Prime and Fine Brightening Eyeshadow Base. I did swatch this in the store because there were testers. However, for some reason, I thought that I liked it in the store, but when I put it on my eyes today, I would not use this again. Like, I, this will probably go in the garbage can after. It just did not blend out and it really skipped around. In fact, like, I had to turn it from the doe foot side to this side to actually get the product to dispense. So I'll show you. Looks like that. It looks like it would be cool. It looks like there's a lot of product and it looks like it would brighten. However, when you start blending it out, it just, well, I mean, see, I don't know what the deal is, why it's working on the back of my hand here. But when I put it on my eyes for some reason, it just skipped around and would not blend in. I don't know if it's because I had put concealer under it and it doesn't work under something like that but I mean you could see how it like is kind of reflective and satiny so I don't know it didn't work on my eyes it's good in theory but it just didn't work with me so I will not be purchasing this again I will stick with the Urban Decay and this here was $5.99? $5.99 so yeah this is definitely not worth $5.99 in my opinion and that is all I picked up from the Catrice cosmetic brand like I said things I would definitely repurchase are these two guys the liquid metal eyeshadow and the eyebrow set I'll have to see about this guy I really do like the color and I like how it looks it just seems to fade so I mean I'm a makeup junkie and I have makeup with me all the time so I have no problem reapplying I also even have this on like my upper lash line here which I like so and that doesn't seem to be fading very much so we'll have to see about this one but I'll definitely repurchase these and I'll absolutely go back for more of these to test them out. I know I said before that I rarely wear like shimmer on my eyes but I don't know what it is lately if it's the holidays or if it's like Christmas or if I'm just in a more sparkly mood I am really enjoying the shimmers on my eyes so I don't know you'll have to let me know if you've tried this brand or if I am missing something or if you recommend something and I hope this was helpful to some of you thanks so much for sticking around with me today and for once I really did do a quick video, which is totally shocking. <laughs> Please subscribe if you haven't already. It means the world to me, and I will talk to you all very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.